What is good, YouTube? A-Squad72, and today we're back for episode two of our Pokemon Fire Red Let's Play. Uh, last episode, we got our starter. We got a couple Pokemon to add to the team. Um, and we're making our way through Viridian Forest, hoping to get to Pewter City in good enough time, take on Brock and do different things like that. Um, let's do a quick party recap. We have Mike Tyson, our uh, gentle-natured Mankey, Brock and uh, Scratch and Leer. Then we have Bulbasaur starter. He is a uh, quiet nature and uh, rock and tackle, growl, and leech seed. Last but not least, we do have Bolt the Pikachu, rock and thundershock, and growl with a serious nature. So, uh, currently, this is our team. Uh, if I come across anything different, any something else that I like, I'll add that to the team. I might have to take somebody off because I don't like having a full team or almost close to a full team this early in the game. So, uh, like I said before, the goal today is to get through the Viridian Forest and take on Brock and get our get our badge and make our way on to uh, Mount Moon. But uh, first, we actually need to gain up a couple of levels because our team right now is not not ready for Brock or not ready for pretty much anything right now. So we're going to go ahead and uh, battle this guy. Hopefully we can gain some levels. Sending out Weedle. It's pretty much gonna be bug catchers in this entire forest. So uh I guess these are these uh, the guy's friends we talked to last match. Not last match, uh last episode about his friends spreading out, trying to catch new Pokemon. So uh hopefully we can just body his whole his whole crew, his whole gang, and uh, make our way up out of here. Hopefully we don't get poisoned too tough, because uh, I think I only have like one antidote left. So I'd, I'd rather not use that. But seeing this Weedle keeps uh, poison stinging me. <laughs> and as soon as I said, we get poison. So uh, he might have to rock out with a little bit of poison for a little bit. Um, I can heal him up, but um, just have a feeling I'm going to need that antidote a little bit later versus right now. I just need... um. I remember correctly i think mike tyson learns a low kick here soon so that'll be greatly appreciated and super helpful during the battle with brock and other rock type pokemon uh rock and ground type pokemon actually uh so yeah we need him to learn that as quick as possible we can get uh bulbasaur leveled up as well get him um a couple of the moves we just need another stab move on him because i mean leech seed is a great move but um, it just it takes too long to do any real damage. I mean, it does chip damage, I guess, or residual damage, depending on how you want to describe it. But for the most part, I mean, it it's, it serves a purpose. But I just need something a little bit more uh, effective. And that's that's any way to get get my point across. But Mike Tyson just gained a level, so uh, we're making progress, moving those chains. And I didn't see which mom was coming out next, but uh, I'll leave Mike Tyson in. And I'll heal him up only because I need to get that poison off. Because it's only going to do more damage over time. So, uh, we might as well just take care of that now. If I have to, I'll just run back to the Pokemon Center or the Pokemart. Buy more items, buy more meds, and uh, be on our way. I'd rather not have to, but... And there we go, so... Yeah, we're going to have to get him out right now. Which is which is partly my fault, but I just I didn't think I'd get poison so soon after healing the poison. Oh wow! So it's just Weedle's out for blood, just like everything else in this let's play. All right, so uh, let's see what we can do here. I know this isn't very effective, but I mean it's the only stab move we have. It's only the only real damage we can do. Uh, so hopefully this isn't dragged on too much. Because if not, I might just have to try another strategy. But we but we should be good. We should be good. I don't think Bolt's going to go on that E. I mean, these are just bugs. So, I mean, if we're having difficulties right now, I can only imagine what's going to happen a little bit later on. But if, if, I, if I calculated some things right, if I, if I crunched the numbers and rub my crystal ball i think i think after the, the initial stages of this like the, the beginning of the game 
we should be smooth sailing after this um once we get a little bit more established and get our sea legs and everything like that so mike tyson learning low kick coming through clutch not necessarily i don't know about clutch but he's he's coming through we got bolt gaining levels just everybody's getting levels levels for bolt levels for mike tyson everybody's getting levels i'm gonna have to switch out pull out bulbasaur give bolt a rest and uh go ahead and get through this since the cocoon i mean he shouldn't have any any, any real moves except harden and uh I'm gonna go for this residual residual chip damage any little bit helps so that's good because he's gonna he's gonna harden eight ways to sunday and so tackle and leech seed should uh be a good one-two combination for that times like this though, I, I do wish i had to speed up but Make, a, make this go a whole lot faster. I'm actually going to heal up now that I have, have this cocoon right where I want it. I'm going to go ahead and heal up um, Mike Tyson and uh, send him back out for the... Actually, you know, a low kick wouldn't do any good because low kick, I think it... Uh, if I remember correctly, the more the heavier the Pokemon is, it's low kicking, the more damage it does. So in this case, it wouldn't it wouldn't do us any good to send him back out. So I'll just keep out Bulbasaur and uh, just 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 kind of bear with it a little bit. So that take care of that and uh looks like bubbles has been to gain some levels too so everybody's getting leveled up this this match which is which is good because we're, we're gonna need this i might if i do have to go back to uh Brittian city i'm i may go back and battle links again because i know that that's some free experience there what is this might be something in, okay yeah we need this we definitely need this. i'll use that right now uh, Bolt needs it the most. Can't have Bolt going down. Now, um, I'll save this poke. I don't know if I'm gonna run across another potion. We'll just keep chucking forward. Lost my train. Oh damn! Not really. Yeah, I, I need. I need these. But. I don't know. Oh, I'll catch Anthony. If I was an actual trainer, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't be a bug catcher. Uh, fun fact: Yeah, my name is my real name is Anthony. So, yeah, I. If it was up to me, I wouldn't be a bug catcher. I feel like bug Pokemon are too fragile. I'd probably be something cool like a like a dragon dragon trainer, or something like that. Maybe a dark type trainer. I don't know. I don't know. We gotta do something. So I, I'm, I'm, I may have to turn around. Don't want to, but uh, it might be in the best interest for my team. Well, at least Mike Tyson. He's the only one who's poisoned, so I need Mike Tyson to stay healthy. bring him back send out Bulbasaur nice Caterpie's blind hopefully this next hopefully we get a crit if we get a crit that'd be 
right on time. Good thing this isn't a uh, first gen when crits are based off speed because the way they lower my speed in this game, this is just, I would never get a crit. Caterpie's done. Bulbasaur is level nine. Send out another Caterpie. I'm gonna send out Bolt so you can get some of this shared experience. I'm gonna need him to be uh, leveled up adequately. Try and keep these these levels even, even though you know Bolt is the newest member to the team, and uh, it's gonna take him the longest to get back up. Bulbasaur back out. Enough with the string shots already. Goodness. How slow do you want me to be? Guess me asking for a crit would uh wouldn't do us any good. Seems like only when I speak of poison is when we actually get it. So I, I thought maybe if I speak of getting a crit, then uh, I, I'd be rewarded with a crit. But no. But we're done with the uh, bug catcher anthem, making a little bit of money. So uh, yeah, the way it's looking, I'm gonna have to go back and potion up. Oh, not potion up. Go back and, and heal up and make sure everybody's taken care of. I made a little bit of money in the forest. So getting other other items shouldn't be a big deal. And we'll we'll make that happen. That's one thing. I know in the since these are the remakes of the original, like red and blue. Uh, I remember back in the day when I used to play like the Pokemon and they had um red and blue were just black and white games and everything looked the same. So I used to get lost in this forest all the time and uh, end up dying and having to go back to the city. And it was it was like a reoccurring thing. Oh, Mike Tyson fame. Good thing this isn't a Nuzlocke of any sort. I'd be trash. But yeah, I, I used to get lost all the time. It took me forever to get out pretty in forest. And I always hated going in caves and different things like that. Cause I back then, like I said, the god they didn't have god books. So if they did, I was too young and my parents weren't weren't gonna buy me the uh the god books for the games. And so I just had to figure it out on my own. And um so yeah, talking about going in any any woods, any forest, any caves, I was not about that life. But now that we healed up, I had to head over to the Pokemon market and um get these meds. I need these meds. A Pokemon need meds. Because I am a terrible trainer. But I'm improving. I just I just started on my journey. So I'm I'm allowed to be a uh a bad trainer. Everybody's a rookie at some point, right? I'll get six. I feel like I'm gonna need that. And uh I'll grab me uh I'll grab two potions and see what I can actually I should have something to sell. Actually, I have nothing to sell. Okay, so have to use those potions very uh, sparingly. Oh yeah. You know what? Nah, I have an objective and I'm gonna stick to it. Um, I'll come back at some point. We'll come back and take care of uh, Lynx. Cause he's waiting. He's uh, he's waiting in the shadows of uh. <laughs> Route seven, I want to say, route seven, should be route seven. The route to the Pokemon League. He's uh he's waiting, just waiting for poor souls to walk by so he can jump out and smell them. So we're not gonna give him that luxury. Then. It's really nothing, I guess, on this route that I would I would like to pick up other than that Pikachu. I, that was, you know, lucky lucky of us to run into it actually because uh it's i guess it's the rare encounter and so the first time we walk to the grass we get the rare encounter so we don't really need to go in the grass or anything else plus so, uh
Nice. I thought I, thought I can get out of this, uh, this grass without running into something. I may have to have to switch. I'll get Mike Tyson one more level, and then I'll switch Bolt out, have him in front. He can kind of sw get switch trained and uh, leveled up accordingly. Because even though he won't be too much of a help in Peter City's gym, it's still it's still nice to have uh, everybody evened out, or at least somewhat in the same general area of levels. I'll put Bolt out first. At the summary. Turn up. Oh, good. Take him on too. The more experience, the better. Well, catch it, Charlie. I don't even. I don't even know where that came from. That was. Your instinct, I guess. Nice, we got the paralysis. That's the thing about these, like the Metapod, the Kakuna, different things like that. Uh, I had to learn the hard way. Again, like back to my initial playthroughs of, of playing Pokemon, just in general. Um, you know, watching the TV show, you see, oh yeah, you get a Caterpie, evolves in the Metapod. And then involves in the Butterfree, and you're thinking, oh man, I can go out into the wild and catch a Metapod, and I can skip the Caterpie stage, because nobody likes Caterpie. But no, you get stuck with the Pokemon that has no moves but hardens. Makes training it very difficult. And then once you evolve into a Butterfree, you still don't have any moves, except depending on which generation you're playing, the, the, the Poison Sleep and uh, Paralysis Powder moves. Which don't do, I mean, they're good for like utility, but they're not good for any like damage. So it defeats a purpose. So I had to learn the hard way. You always catch a Caterpie first and then you evolve it. So, yep. Trials, trials of A Squad as a kid, not knowing. Uh, I'll stay in. Actually, you know, I went over the stats for Bolt, but I didn't really look at him. I just named off his moves. I didn't have actually check and see like what he's, what like what's his, what his actual stats are. So I'm gonna have to look at those after this this particular battle, as um, I actually look at them right now. Okay, yeah, so special attack, it's decent. gonna need something there we go crit finally get the crit that i asked for nice oh getting all the levels can't be mad at it there's our exit so we're we're almost there nice what's this way okay we got another item be something useful Okay, that's what I need. I need potions. I need all these. So, our last trainer in the end of Radiant Forest is upon us, and uh, I couldn't be more happy. Further we can get away from this place, better. But I need this experience, though. I need that up off you. I think too this game this particular generator i think this is third yeah this third gen and so um it should be like physical special split so his defense raising doesn't do anything for us or against us i should say let's go 
Hey, wait up. What's the hurry? Why the rush? Man, I hate this place. That's what's the, that's the rush. I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, so he only has one mon. I'm gonna make quick work of this. Thundershock, Thundershock, Thundershock. That's the plan. It doesn't matter. Hopefully, Bolt coming through with another crit. Because he's super clutch. Can we get a crit? Can we get a crit? Nice. It's not a crit, but I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. With the levels, all the levels. Okay. But we got Thunder Wave, which isn't necessarily a bad move. Uh, it can definitely come in handy depending on the situation. So uh, I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Have you noticed the skinny trees on the roadside? They can be cut down by a special Pokemon move out here. Oh. Do you know the evolutionary evolution cancel technique? When a Pokemon is evolving, you can stop the process. It's a technique for raising Pokemon the way they are. Many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. You need to be persistent and look everywhere to get different kinds. Thanks for the tip. Route two. All right, cool. And now the place we've all been trying to get to, Scooter City. First thing we need to do, go ahead and heal up. Now, I'm debating. I'm debating on that whether I should uh, go ahead and take on the gym now. I should probably take on the gym now. I just feel like it's uh, where we might we might get some casualties because uh, see our levels right now. Eight, six, and level nine. Um, let's see. Where, where's Mike Tyson? Maybe we can get a quick battle in. Oh yeah, we could definitely get a quick battle and get him him level seven and send him on his way. Let's see if we can um see if we can make this happen. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and just go uh we're gonna go ahead and try this. We're gonna go ahead and try this. See if I can get any extra meds before we go in. I get it. I get a potion. Every potion, every potion counts. Every little bit it helps. So, uh, I wonder, as if it might be a trial and error thing. I'm, I'm, we'll find out. We'll find out. I'm not sure because Bolt, uh, Bolt's Thunder Wave should work on these rock type Pokemon, but uh. We're gonna have Mike Tyson out first, just to uh, just to scout. Stop right there, kid. You're ten thousand light years from facing Brock. Ten thousand light years, huh? Okay. Kind of, kind of science you doing, sir? Geo dude versus Mike Tyson. Let's go. Oh, okay. We're not doing. We're not doing too much. Oh man, this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be hella tough. Ooh, see, oh, we're getting credit like that. All right, man. Uh, let's go. Luckily, leech the hits. I took Bubbles all to the doctor and get his eyes checked. And uh, we got some contact lenses in. He didn't, he didn't want any glasses. He doesn't like the spectacle look. So uh, we got some contact lenses. And uh, he's been doing pretty well ever since we put those in. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean to do that. No. So we're still in, we're still in decent shape. But uh, it's just going to take a little bit longer. This is going to be rough. 
because I think he has another Pokemon too. So we'll just have to find out. <sighs> nice. Bulbasaur is going to be gaining these levels. I hate that I did Mike Tyson like that. I thought he'd be able to handle it. I thought four levels wouldn't make such a big deal, but it definitely does. But now that we got Vyron, we might not need him. Uh, hopefully. But it'd still be nice to have him. Check out Vyron Whip. See what that does. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. So, uh... We're gonna have to go back to the Pokemon Center, but we're definitely gonna take on take out Brock this episode. Oh man, get uh Mike Tyson. I'm about to get Mike Tyson leveled up, but then again, he might not be a permanent member of the team. I just needed him, honestly, for this gym. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, well, you know, Ace Squad, you have Bulbasaur. Why would you need? Mike Tyson. I wasn't sure when Bulbasaur was going to get another stab move uh, and whether it was going to be strong enough, like a fighting type move would be based on like weight. That's why I wanted Mike Tyson with low kick. But um, hopefully if we can get uh, Brock's Mons with, with some Brock's, Brock's Mons, if I can get my words correct, get Brock's Mons with some, uh, some status ailments and uh, some lead seed action going on, then we should be in good shape. But, uh, oh man, this, this, this is going to be kind of rough. It's going to be kind of rough. So, I'm going to go ahead and save right before we take him on. Because uh, I feel like that's the right thing to do. Just in case. But we'll find out. <sighs> okay, so we have... I'm going to still leave with Mike Tyson. But, uh... He has a very specific job that I, I don't think he's cut out for right now. Brock also has a Geo dude, level 12. Yeah, oh man. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Here real quick, hopefully, hopefully the strats, the pro plays will come through for us because we, we definitely need some pro plays. Hit him with the low kick. Again. I, my bad, Mike Tyson. So now Bulbasaur. We need these uh these vine whips with a quickness. Nice. Yeah, definitely uh <laughs> like next episode. I'm, I'm I may barely use Bulbasaur because now he's just skyrocketed up. Um, I'm gonna switch because I'm gonna need some Thunder Wave action going on. And hopefully this works. Tackle Thunder Wave. Okay. Oh, uh, so he's Rock Ground. I thought it was just regular Rock. Makes sense. All right. Well. There goes Bolt. Sorry about that. So, okay, I'm cool with the bind. That works in our favor a little bit. Because whatever we lose from bind, we'll just gain right back from the lead seed. Now, I could ground and get his attack down. Um,. Just in case, because he is level 14. And I'm not sure about Onyx's attack stat. I know he has sky high defenses. So uh, as long as we get that attack down so he can do minimal damage and then we still capitalize on this elite seed, then we should be fine. Because um, now we're gaining we're gaining health while he's losing health. And then with the Vine Whip on top of that, we should be in good shape. Just like that. All right, so Brock went down. I, uh, I would say easily, but we we had a couple we had a couple uh couple go down so uh that's that i don't i don't feel great about it i don't feel i don't feel you no know, too proud of that but uh 
we got the job done sloppily but it's done we get 1400 we get a badge and uh we get a get a tm tm 39 which contains uh is he gonna tell us what it is rock tune contains rock tune it hurl it hurls boulders at the foe and lowers the speed cool so we're done with that uh we're gonna go ahead and heal up and see what's next man i definitely i feel i feel bad mike tyson has been getting business mike tyson and bolt kind of but bolt got a little bit of shine he gained like four levels this this episode oh he's making progress we're making progress we got our first badge and uh we're in pretty good shape so We didn't use any meds. We didn't actually get a chance to use any meds, but you know, we didn't use any, so that's that's kind of a plus. Oh, hey squad. I'm glad I caught up caught up to you. I'm Professor Oak's aide. I've been asked to deliver this to you. Okay. Got a running shoe. Press the B button to run. Only where there's room to run. Well, I must be going back to the lab. Bye bye. Alright, man, take it easy. Tell Oak, um oh, oh, oh he's gone. Oh, it's letter attached. Dear A Squad. Here's a pair of running shoes from my beloved challenger. Remember, I'll always cheer for you. Don't ever give up. From mom. Oh, the TV told you to send these, huh? Yeah, I saw that commercial. Thanks, mom. But now we got running shoes. We got a badge. We got a TM. We got running shoes. We got money. So, uh, we're looking good. We're looking good. But, um, I guess now is the best, the better time than ever to, uh, wrap up today's episode. And tomorrow we'll go through, uh, Mount Moon and hopefully Nugget Bridge. And talk to bill but um yeah so i'll definitely take care of that and uh we're moving the chains and hopefully we can actually ooh, we actually might be able to get a, another party member and switch somebody out on the team so if all things go well then uh we'll have somebody else to add and we'll be that much closer to completing the full team in which i envisioned from the beginning so uh might want to stay tuned for that so other than that hit the like button comment subscribe stay tuned a squad 72 i'll catch y'all later peace